Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we're here with another video, and today's video is going to be on four cheap slash profitable crafting methods. Now a couple of these will be barely in the red. You'll be losing some money, but for the XP you're gaining relative to other methods, it's really good. And for a couple other, they're actually profitable, so you have that going for you as well. Basically, crafting is a skill that I'm sure, as you guys are aware, it gets really expensive towards the late game levels. Basically, you end up being put in the position as to whether or not you should craft and hide bodies or battle staffs or you go a cheaper less expensive route and that's what I have for you here today so I will be going from the most easily unlockable stat requirements to the hardest so if you guys are a little bit higher level feel free to skip to later in the video but with that said going to go ahead and get into our first method now our first method of the video is going to be emerald rings the reason that these rings are so good for crafting at low levels is because you can unlock them at level 27 and they actually do make you a pretty decent profit per hour uh, the reason I'm doing emerald rings instead of any other ring is because emerald rings tend to have a really good profit margin considering you need emerald rings for rings of dueling within the game but with that said there are alternatives i'll throw out there for you guys there are a lot of margins to be had and depending on the time that you go about finding which ones you want to do dragon stones and or sapphires may also have good margins depending on what you make them into but for this lower level method of emerald rings, basically you can be expecting to do about 1150 rings per hour. Now this is assuming that you're doing this in Edgeville. Basically the inventory setup is pretty easy, just 13 gold bars, 13 emeralds. You run back and forth from the bank. It's pretty self-explanatory. You're going to need a ring mold as well. But each hour you'll be spending about 639k in supplies and you'll be profiting about 250k. It's not the best profit per hour. Now you can definitely get better margins with other items, but if you go ahead and craft other ones you're going to definitely wait a while before you're going to be able to sell them so take that into account the next method or methods is going to be dealing with glass blowing so basically what you're going to need for this method is just a glass blowing pipe in your inventory and then a full inventory of molten glass the reason that this method's really good is because it costs relatively nothing it's about 200k per hour to actually put in these costs and overall you're able to afk for a while considering you have the full inventory of molten glass to go through now the requirements for these two methods are 46 crafting for empty orbs these grant 52.5 experience per one and 87 crafting for light orbs these are actually higher at 70 XP per one now with that said you can expect to be able to blow now with that said you can expect to be able to craft around 1657 of these molten glass per hour now depending on which method you're actually using for this if you decide to do light orbs you're going to be getting 82k experience in that hour and if you have the level to be able to do the light orbs you'll be able to get 116k XP per hour now with that said the input here is the same across both you end up only being able to use so many molten glass which comes out to 232k now the empty orbs are actually able to be resold coming in at a total loss per hour of 128 8k but if you are doing the light orbs you will not be able to sell those so you will actually be losing the full 232k per hour but with the added xp gain it's definitely worth it to do it if you're able to make more than four to 500k per hour now the next method is meant for a lot higher level players basically there is no crafting requirement for this method however you will need 76 magic which is a pretty high ask of a lot of people and on top of that you're going to have needed to complete the lunar of diplomacy quest which is a pretty decent requirement for a lot of recovery counts. Now with that said, this spin flax spell actually is really good compared to a lot of methods in overall efficiency. Um, basically, you're able to actually cast about 1100 spells per hour. Each cast that you end up doing is going to come at the cost of two natures, one astral, and five air runes per spell. Now with that said, that means you're going to be able to do about 5500 flax per hour, which definitely is a good amount. And overall, you'll be gaining the same amount of crafting and mage XP at 83k per hour, both of which is pretty good. 83k magic XP per hour is pretty good as a magic method alone and adding on to the fact that you get 83k crafting xp is definitely something that i find valuable however it is a little bit more click intensive so there is that to worry about now with that said you end up spending about 643k per hour to be able to do this method and in total you only end up losing 7k of that so relatively speaking you don't lose any money and you do gain a lot of xp in two skills rather than just one so it may be worth the overall net loss of 7k per hour now onto the final method this is by far the best one it definitely is really click intensive so if you don't like click intensive methods this isn't the one for you maybe go ahead and try flax spinning as it is a little bit less click intensive but right now we have super glass make it does come at the requirements of 77 magics so only one more than the previous method and also the completion of lunar diplomacy also another 
spellbook unlock of course and basically the way super glass make works is you're going to bring out 13 sand and 13 seaweed from your bank then you're going to go ahead and cast the spell now whenever you cast the spell you're going to be using air and fire orbs so basically you can go about either using a tome and an air staff or you can use a smoke battle staff if you have the coins for it from there if you cast a spell basically your sand and seaweed will be turned into molten glass however you'll receive 1.3 times as much molten glass on average over a long sample size so you're going to be able to cast the spell about 550 times per hour considering you have to get a new inventory for every spell that's why you cast a little bit less however you do end up using 7,000 buckets of sand and 7,000 seaweed as well now with that said you do get 66k crafting xp and 40k mage xp now i do understand that that's 20k less crafting xp and almost 40k less mage xp than the previous method however your profit per hour is actually 508k so it could be something that's worth it for you depending on how much you are able to gain overall basically if you want to look at it from the standpoint of cost efficiency so if you're only focused on crafting xp and do not care at all about mage xp it's worth it for you to go ahead and use this method if you can't make more than 2 mil gp per hour now on the opposite side of the spectrum if you do want magic xp and you do care about the overall xp that you're getting per hour from methods this means that this method is only worth it to you if you can't make more than 1 mil gp per hour now with that said overall i do think this is the best method now a lot of people could do spin flax spin flax is a lot more chill and you're definitely able to get more xp granted you don't make any money from it but it still overall is a really good method and all of these are really something i would encourage people to do considering a lot of other crafting methods can be really expensive and really tedious in the fact that it's hard to gain without having to spend bank on a skill so with that said hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure to leave a like if there's anything you want to tell me comment that down below anything you want me to go over and maybe make a video on in the future make sure to let me know if you guys want to see my content as soon as it comes out in the future make sure to subscribe a lot of links in the description down below feel free to check them out but with that said hopefully you guys have a wonderful